Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And after a long time, we are back again with a very important update about the Apple MacBooks. So yesterday there was a press release by Apple in which they released the M2 Pro and the M2 Max processors. And now we have a new complete lineup of the Pro models. So today we'll be looking at to what is the difference between M2 Pro and the M1 Pro processors. And if you're looking ahead to buy any of the newly refreshed models of the MacBooks, so we'll be having a close look at to the M2 Pro and the M1 Pro processors as what was the difference between its predecessor. So let's get ahead. So firstly, if we look at to M1 Pro and the M2 Pro, so the first difference that comes out loud is that we have two extra cores into the CPU in the M2 Pro versus the M1 Pro. So into the M1 Pro we had 10 core CPU and now into the M2 Pro we have a 12 core CPU. Along with that if you look into the GPU, so we have a 19 core GPU into the M2 Pro versus 16 core GPU into the M1 Pro. So if you look down to M1 Pro, M1 Pro was available with 8 and 10 core CPUs. Along with that, the newly refreshed M2 Pro comes with 10 core and 12 core CPUs. That means in each of the units, there is an upgrade of two cores. There is two extra cores. And if you look down at the 10 core CPU of the M1 Pro, so in that we had 8 cores for performance and 2 cores for efficiency. If you look down to the 10 core CPU, so it comes with 6 cores of performance and 4 cores of efficiency but this is an upgrade to the 8 core CPU that we had in M1 Pro. Also if we have a look at to the GPU, M1 Pro with the 10 core CPU came along with 16 core of GPU and also the M2 Pro with the 10 core of CPU comes along with the 16 core of GPU. But if you look ahead to the 12 core CPU model of the M2 Pro in which we get 8 cores for performance and 4 cores for efficiency as compared to 2 cores of efficiency in the M1 Pro. But now also if you look at to the GPU, we have 3 extra cores for GPU. So the M2 Pro comes along with 19 cores of GPU and if we compare that for anything for performance, so let's get ahead and have a look at to the performance. So M2 Pro can actually perform 25% more faster in Xcode compilation of codes. So if you're compiling codes, you can get 25% more faster compilation in Xcode as compared to M1 Pro. Also for image processing in Photoshop, we can get 40% more faster performance as compared to M1 Pro and looking that to any Core i9 processor MacBook Pro so it's 80% more faster so that's a huge leap over here and let's get ahead to the CPU performance as compared to over in all CPU performance will be 20% more faster and the GPU performance will be 30% more faster than the M1 Pro's and let's get ahead to the M1 Max now M1 Max and the M2 Max now this is an one very important cup thing over here so if you look down to the m1 max it came along with a 10 core of cpu but the m2 max will come along with 12 core of cpu as compared to the gpu units now you can actually configure the m2 max processor with up to 38 cores of gpu as compared to the 32 core of gpu that was available in m1 max and also the unified memory that's the ram can now be configured up to 96 gigabytes with a memory bandwidth of 400 gigabytes per second so that's a great great leap over here so previously we had 64 gigabytes of unified memory al allowance into the m1 max but now we can configure that up to 96 gigabytes so that's a great thing over here for the people who need more ram for the people who need more memory for working along uh, onto the workflows uh, like the ex extreme workflows so for them it will be really great thing and getting ahead if we compare the performance it's 20 percent more faster performance than the m1 max in the cpu performance and into the gpu it's 30 percent more faster than the m1 max so that's exactly the same performance upgrades as compared to the m1 pro and the m2 pro also if you look at to the cinema 4d the there are some results that have been displayed into the press release so it says that effects rendering in cinema 4d will be 30 percent more faster than the m1 max into the m2 max and now let's talk about the macbooks so looking at into the macbooks most of the things into the macbooks still remain exactly the same the ports are exactly the same displays are exactly the same the entire chassis is exactly the same and everything else remains exactly the same there's some differences so the 
some differences over here is that into the battery life if we look at the battery life we have in 22 hours of battery life into the new macbooks and specifically looking at to the 14 inch model and 16 inch model if we have a look at to them so the 14 inch model supports 18 hours of video playback as compared to the 16 inch model supports up to 22 hours of video playback and if you are wirelessly browsing so in the 14 inch model you can browse for almost 12 hours and into the 16 inch model you can browse up till 15 hours so that's a little bit of good upgrade over here as compared to the last year we got around 21 to 20 hours of video playback into the 16 inch model but now we have an one hour extra upgrade into the battery life as well getting ahead to the wi-fi into the wi-fi technology wireless technology they have also made an increment so we now have Wi-Fi 6E enabled into the new MacBooks coming in 2023. As compared to the previous MacBooks that came, we had Wi-Fi 6. Now 6E technology enables you 2x of faster browsing and faster internet connectivity in all the MacBooks. So it is twice faster than Wi-Fi 6. Also getting ahead, if we talk about the display support, the display support remains exactly the same as to the previous models. Into the M2 Pro, you can connect up to two external displays. Also into the M2 Max, you can connect up to four external displays. So that's the connectivity of the displays that you can actually connect. So there's no difference into the display connectivity into the M2 Pro or into the M2 Max model models of the MacBooks so that remains exactly same and also now let's have a closer look at to what we are getting so here's a complete comparison of what you can actually get and what you can configure up to if you are getting a base model MacBook so th with the 10 core of CPU and this is specifically for the 14 inch model by the way so into that you can get a 6 core for performance and 4 cores for efficiency with a 16 core of a GPU and 16 cores of neural engine and 200 gigabytes of memory bandwidth and this can be configured with 12 cores of CPU and 19 cores of GPU 12 cores of CPU 30 cores of GPU or 12 cores of CPU and 38 cores of GPU that is M2 Max by the way so if you're looking into m2 pro so m2 pro can only be configured with a 19 core of gpu and if you want to get more higher gpu cores so you'll need to upgrade to m2 max so for upgrading to m2 max if you have a look at the base model of the m2 max you get 30 core of gpu into the m2 max with a 12 cores of cpu in which you are getting eight cores of performance and four cores for efficiency and also if you want to upgrade that the maximum limit for the gpu cores will be 38 cores and by the way if you're looking at to the ram so you can into the m2 max if you're getting the m2 max so into that you can upgrade the ram that is the unified memory up to 96 gigabytes okay so this is the complete new update into the macbooks and there has been a, just a small press release yesterday and that was a, by the way a surprise event so nothing was been told by the way so looking at to the new macbooks it's really great and it's really amazing into the performance but we don't have any hands-on test yet, yet now but we are looking forward to get some hands-on test onto the new macbooks and coming up with the real results into the real life so guys if you liked our video please hit that like button subscribe to our channel and meet you next episode very soon till then goodbye